Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a team that's making waves, the Cincinnati Bengals, Joe 49ers. In the past three weeks, Joe Burrow has achieved a passer rating of 118. The team is under excellent guidance, and it's clear that they have star players like Joe Burrow and Jamar Changles know that this is typical of their team. They usually start the season slowly, and then they pick up the pace right around this time. I know the road ahead is tough, they have challenging games to play, and they are part of a competitive division and conference. But remember, we are talking about the Cincinnati Bengals here. With players like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, this team is formidable. So in this video, we will delve deeper into why the Cincinnati Bengals are a team to watch out for. Before we proceed, if you enjoy our content, please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for daily updates on the NFL. To all the Bengals fans out there, let's aim for 50 likes on this video. That would mean a lot to us. Now let's talk about Joe Burrow's performance against what is considered one of the best defenses in the NFL. Technically, they are now ranked fifth, but against them, Joe Burrow was flawless. Playing away from home, he completed 28 of his 32 passes, throwing for 283 yards, and scored three touchdowns without any interceptions. And despite having a calf injury, which thankfully is no longer a problem, he also rushed six times, gaining 43 yards. This shows that the Bengals are now playing a more balanced game, especially in terms of their running plays. This is great news for Joe Mixon, another key player for the Bengals. In the last game, he rushed 16 times, gaining 87 yards and scoring a touchdown. The team is showing more creativity and versatility in their plays, thanks to a fully recovered Joe Burrow. In the game against the 49ers, seven different players made catches, showing the depth of the team. The trade deadline has just passed and I was a bit surprised that the Bengals didn't try to acquire a tight end. However, with strong players like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, the team is still in a good position. Speaking of T. Higgins, reports say that the Bengals didn't even consider trading him, which is exactly what we expected. He is a crucial player for the team, and even if he decides to leave at the end of the season, having him for the remaining games is vital. Higgins is back in form, making five catches for 69 yards in the last game. The team also has Tyler Boyd, a seasoned player who made three catches for 40 yards and a touchdown. On the other hand, Irvy Smith hasn't made a significant impact yet, especially when compared to Hayden Hurst from the last season. Now let's talk about a quote from Joe Mixon, another key player for the Bengals. He said, when the lights shine bright, we shine brightest. We have to keep playing with an edge that can't be matched. I think this perfectly captures the essence of the Cincinnati Bengals, especially now as we enter November. This is a team that traditionally performs well in the latter part of the season. It reminds me of the New Orleans Saints under Sean Payton. They would start slow but catch fire as November arrived. And of course, Joe Burrow, the quarterback, is a central figure in this team. He led them to the Super Bowl a few seasons ago and has continued to show that he has what it takes to be a top player in this league. On the defensive side, the Bengals are also doing well. Some had concerns about the secondary, but players like Mike Hilton are stepping up. In the last game, Hilton had an excellent performance, earning high grades from PFF for his defensive, coverage, and tackling skills. Cam Taylor Britt and Dax Hill, two younger players, are also showing great potential. Overall, I have no concerns about the Bengals' defense. They are performing as well, if not better, than last season. Now let's look at some statistics. The Bengals started the season with a 1-3 record, and their offensive performance was not impressive, averaging only 19 points per game. However, it's important to consider the injuries, especially to Joe Burrow. On the defensive side, they have been solid, allowing an average of 20.6 points per game, which ranks 16th in the league. One area where the Bengals have excelled is in minimizing penalties, which can disrupt the team's momentum. They are currently the best in the league in this aspect. In terms of rushing yards, the Bengals are averaging 79 yards per game, which is low. But with a healthy Joe Burrow, we can expect the team's offense to be more balanced and creative, which should benefit Joe Mixon. Before the trade deadline, we discussed the possibility of adding a veteran running back, similar to what Samajit Perrin provided last season. The team has certainly felt the absence of Perrin and Hayden Hurst. However, if Mixon stays healthy and continues to perform, well, the team should be in good shape. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe for daily NFL content. If you want more videos about the Bengals, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to check back on Sunday night for a recap of the Bengals game. Thanks for watching and goodbye.